hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you guys stopped by today I will be making sandwich bread and this is honestly one of my top five breads that I have made so far um, so just getting started I am measuring or using a scale to measure my flour this time because I found out that it's a more accurate way to measure your flour um, so this is what you need for the ingredients um, I'm also going to have it linked below in the description box so starting off I'm going to add my yeast and salt to my flour and I'm just going to um, mix that all together with a whisk then I'm going to add my milk which is at room temperature with some melted butter and the honey and the water and I'm going to mix that all together So I'm using my stand mixer for this uh, bread. You definitely don't have to use one. The, the dough was soft enough that I think you can definitely knead this by hand if you need to. Go ahead and add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients. So this dough was very, very wet. So I added about another half cup of bread flour to get it to this consistency. So mix until your dough is stretchy um, and then move on to the next step. I'm just going to flour my countertop lightly and um, add the dough and start kneading. Um, so knead for about 30 seconds. Um, as you can see as I'm kneading I'm rotating and making sure that the bottom is nice and um, smooth and then I'm going to flip that and then I'm going to um, form it into a ball. So I like to store my dough in glass containers to let it rise. So go ahead and spritz your glass container with some oil and then put your dough in it and cover it up with plastic wrap. So I like to place my dough in a warm area for about an hour to two until my dough is about twice its size. So um, I will be baking this bread in a loaf pan. Go ahead and spritz it with some oil. Flour your countertop and um, put your dough on the countertop and make sure the side that was touching the container is on top and just uh, form it into an 8 by 6 rectangle so make sure the long side is, a, is along the edge of the countertop. Roll the dough away from you and pinch the end of the seam to create a complete seal. Um, and then go ahead and put it in your loaf pan. So make sure the seal is um, downwards, facing downwards. So I had it wrong and now I'm just going to have it so the seal is facing downwards so it doesn't allow air to escape. So I'm just going to cover, cover it up with the same plastic wrap and just let it rise for another hour to an hour and a half until your dough is about one inch above the edge of the pan. So also preheat your oven to 350 degrees F. So this is what my dough looks like um, once it's been, I let it rise for I think it's over an hour, over two hours because I was busy. I'm um, go ahead and spritz it with some water and put it in your oven for about 35 to 40 minutes and this is what you should get. Um, so let the dough, let the bread sit in the pan for five minutes before you take it out. So the dough deflated a little bit, I'm not sure, probably because I let it rise a little too much. This is definitely my top five, if not top three bread recipes that I've tried so far. Um, the recipe was very easy to follow um, and the ingredients are things that you always have in the house. Um, so the texture was very great, it smelled great and the taste was just, it was out of this world. I cannot wait for you guys to try it out. The bread tasted just like sandwich bread that you get from the grocery store, if not better. Um, it was very delicious and just thinking of the fact that you can make your own you know, bread in your kitchen, you can control the ingredients, um, you don't have to worry about what's been put in the bread because you know all the ingredients you put in the bread. So definitely you guys should try this out and let me know what you guys think in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.